Uh, they have to keep me awake, but it's not about the nutcracker. It's about that little girl. And it's a treasure of our life to get to do that. Family traditions. Uh, one that is special to my family is on Christmas Day when we gather to do, or whatever time of the day we get to have our whole family there to do our gift giving and so forth, we will not start until my dad quotes the Christmas story. My dad is a tremendous man of the word, and he has memorized huge portions of the word. It just really intimidates me. But one of the joys of our life is to hear my dad quote from Matthew and from Luke, the story of the birth of Christ. Has it become a family tradition? Yes. Is it one that I treasure and will treasure all of my life? Yes. And I thank God. Family traditions will do, and I read an article this week, and I'll just share with you very quickly five things that family traditions can do. They create good feelings and special moments to remember. They're fun things to do. Encourage, enjoying this time together as a family will create positive emotions in your family. Secondly, they give every member of the family a stronger sense of belonging. That's very important for being a part of a family is more than living in the same home or having the same last name. Thirdly, it helps your family with their identity. It helps to know that you belong when you're trying to figure out who you are. Every once in a while, I've been reminded when I was growing up of who I was. And I needed that reminder. Fourthly, it helps parents import, impart to the family values to their children. And fifth, family traditions offer a sense of security of knowing that some things are without debate. There's one precious story that I'd like to share with you in closing. And the writer shares that, uh, that this is about staying power in family traditions. On the son's birthday in October, we always raked huge piles of leaves with the kids and jumped in. Stuffed them in our shirts, threw them in the air, and just generally had a wild time. We thought as the kids grew older, their interest in such a frivolous activity would fade. On the contrary, when they were teens, the leaf pile just got bigger. Finally, there came a year when our two oldest had left home. The son, to go on his first year of college, and her daughter, doing humanitarian work in an orphanage in Bulgaria. I was missing them as my birthday approached, but on birthday morning, an envelope arrived from each in the mail. I excitedly tore open the daughter's purse, wondering what kind of card she would send. But it was not a card. It was a leaf. And it had a post-it note stuck on it that said, Dad, this is a Bulgarian leaf. Orphans helped me celebrate your birthday. Love, Jill. P.S. Dad, don't forget, I'm still family. The envelope from the son also contained a leaf. And he puts in parentheses, they had not talked to each other. But typically of boys, no note. <laughs> I just imagine him thinking, I'll just send a dad a leaf. He'll know what it means. During this time, I ask first of all that you, that you do a checking of the traditions of your celebration of these holidays. And make sure, now I'm not going to ever tell you, you know, don't you dare have a Santa Claus or don't you dare have a Christmas tree or or whatever, you know. The, I, to be honest with you, I love singing those songs like Santa Claus is coming into town. You, it won't happen from here again. <laughs> but I love those parts of Christmas. I'm, I'm a Christmas guy. But just make sure that as you form the traditions of your family that Jesus Christ is central. 
not a lot of your children or grandchildren would confuse what Christmas is about. And four, godly, positive traditions in your family. They will have fruit and value. And I just pray God's blessing on your family. There's some of you, I know even as I say that word, your heart pangs with some hurts, some disappointments. And I pray that there will be healing in your family this holiday. I pray that some of you will see your children come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ this holiday. I pray that some of your kids, brothers and sisters who are following afar off, once walked near to Jesus, but this holiday find a place of new commitment and new devotion in the presence of the Lord. We are entering a time of tradition. It's okay. It's good. It's fun. Just make sure that Jesus is the heart of all. In moments like these, I sing a Thank you. 